Last season on Ashley, I just signed a record deal with Geffen Records. This is not the end, not the beginning of the end, but the end of the beginning. I have so much work to do. God, what the well, you know, we got a lot of work to do. It's not every day when I get involved and say, all right, listen, you're not singing on these demos, man. We're going to put you with great people. Today, I'm working with John Shanks. I was really excited that I've been able to write some really cool songs that I'm really happy with. You're fired. No, I'm kidding. Ryan Cabrera is my best friend. It was really cool of him to ask me to be the girl in his video. Five minutes later, we're making out. I was like a little nervous because he's like my dorky brother that I go rollerblading with. I decided to dye my hair because I just needed to do something new. Can finally rest my head on something real. I just finished my album. I've been kind of getting sick on my glands. Like, it's like all swollen. Not only do you have reflux, you've got severe reflux. How's that feel? Good. I think you sound really warmed up. You sound uh, great. This is a big night for the Simpson family because uh, this is Ashley's first show. You extremely anxious for my album to come out. Hi guys! It's here. It's happened. Today, barely a week into the release of her record, we've already sold well over a million records. You, you rock, man. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Got stuck. a great few months. I'm moving into a new house. I'm about to start touring and I'm about to do Saturday Night Live. I definitely feel like I've matured. There's a part of me that's growing up and then there's the other part where I'm still dorky and silly and still like such a kid. It's really nice to kind of have both worlds. Today I am packing up my apartment. I just got a house. So I'm moving out. Isn't it a little overwhelming? I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Do you think anybody will use this brush? <laughs> no. You see the hair on it. <laughs> you guys, look at this drawer. Hey, do you think that like whenever the people that come to clean the house are just gonna like clean that? Or should I Do clean they clean that? stuff? I can't look like a boy anymore. It's a nice house. Like, I have to be a girl, not a dirty but boy. So these girls, yeah. I even think that some of the guys that are like my friends are cleaner than I am. I guarantee you that. Except for Ryan's bathroom is disgusting. Moving day was really stressful. I didn't really do much, but I was really stressed. <laughs> did you throw this away? What did she throw away? Oh, my writing. What? This is where I wrote Unreachable. Oh, that's weird. New York, remember this song? No. I wrote this song about Ryan before I ever even kissed him. Oh. No, that is a lot of your first album. You should keep it. It is a lot of my first album. I'm so sorry. I almost threw that away. It's so sad. Ash, I have nice silverware and a full set, so we'll just we'll put it all in like different drawers. So I have two roommates, one of them being Stephanie Pearson, who I grew up with, and Lauren Zellman. She's been my best friend since elementary school. I think it's going to be fun. We're all best friends, so I think that it should be a really fun experience. I, I think some of them are and some of them are. I think I know what your paintings are by now. Yeah, I think you so. Are these yours? Uh, I think the red ones are Lauren's. Maybe these? And those pink ones are mine too, and the black ones. Um, and these are yours? Yeah, these are mine. All of them? I, I think so. These are beat up. I think these are mine. I think so. Yeah, they are. <laughs> from yesterday? Uh-huh. With the dark red guy with the dark face cap on? Hold on one second. That will be in touch next week. In touch next week? What guy? Who were you with yesterday? Oh, the guys! Andrew and them! Somebody took a picture of us shopping, and it's going to be in a magazine it's next to look week. like you and your... <laughs> he hung up on me. The paparazzi is something else that I have to deal with in my life right now. They can really hurt someone I care about and love by taking the wrong picture. They take these pictures and they can be completely misconstrued. I'm just like a flirty person, like not like, I'm just like a lovey person, you know what I mean? So like, they'll Every get week, pictures. Have a new boyfriend. I'm like that with my like, girlfriends. We walk down the street holding hands, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not like I- see the pictures of us from the cathedral? 
Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, we look like we're on a date. I know. I'm standing with my hands clasped all. Hola. I wasn't hugging Andrew. Who knows what the picture is of? I don't care. He's my friend. We're actually like cool and friends, and I'm. It's fine. Oh God, no! I haven't even gone on a date with him. We went to the mall yesterday. Mom, why would you say that? Who thought that? He said that. He said that. He said that. Like uh, my God, he's my freaking friend. I don't. I, I don't care what anybody says. You guys. Y'all, stop telling me who I should hang out with and not hang out with, okay? It's my life, and I want to do what I want to do. Now she just hung up on me. to organize the whole situation. And that made me think everybody really stressed. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. Well, I can't help you until I'm f***ing over there. God. To add to the stress that day, Stephanie, my roommate, wasn't there. So we didn't know what to do with her stuff and where to put it. It's moving day, and she's not here, and I think that's rude. Well, she should be here, OK? <laughs> yeah, she should be. My mom is so pissed off at Stephanie. She's not here. Because she's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with her bed. They're supposed to be moving your vanity and all that stuff in here. And Stephanie's not even here. It's like, hey, it's moving day. Everybody move my Wait. I think we should call Stephanie and tell her that I she needs calling. to be here. No hey, babe, your mom sent me roses. I know. For my birthday. And did you read the card? Oh, I know what it said. It's hilarious. Ryan's cheap mom. Ashley thinks my mom is cheap. Uh huh. Yeah. I do not think your mom is cheap. Awesome. I would never say that about somebody's mother. Ryan and I broke up over the summer, and then kind of started talking in the fall. Your breath smells go. good. Does Mine it? smells like green olives. It smells good as my towels. <laughs> <laughs> She's full. Of... <laughs> so not fair. No, his towels smell normal. Disgusting. No, like, like normal. I think. Yeah. What do you think your apartment smells like? <laughs> Both of us, you know, really care for each other a lot, and we worked everything out, and we're together, and we're really, really happy. <laughs> Isn't that so comfy? It's so good here. I'm really excited. So I'm so over this day and moving that all I want to do is sit in the bath and. I feel so sorry for you, poor thing. Shut up. Ryan's not afraid to make fun of me. And I love that. I think it'd be really cool if I like put red like drapes behind the b back there. Babe, are you listening? You gonna keep this mattress? Mm-hmm. So cool. So not fair. Are you jealous? Well, I'm gonna go back to my apartment now. I keep it real. I'm really excited because I have a house, and at the end of the day, it's really a good thing. So it's gonna be a good move. Rehearsal. We're uh, doing SNL this weekend, so I'm here to rehearse for that. It's the biggest TV show that I've done so far, so uh, we got to make sure everything is perfect and on. What studio are we in? Obviously, the one that's playing Shadow, right? <laughs> What's up? Hi. How are you? Hi, Braxton. How are you? Good to see you. I'm good. <laughs> Eric Vitro is my vocal coach. He's extremely important. Whenever I have big shows, I always like to have him there. Relax your neck. Mm -hmm. I sound like a dying dog. That's okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say dying. Maybe wounded. Look at you on like, what is it? Three hours sleep or something? That's amazing. <laughs> Rehearsals in LA before I left for New York were amazing. 
I was told that autobiography was going to be my new single, so I really wanted to perform that. I think it sounds great. You think you know me? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Me and my band are really starting to gel. It's cool. It's like finally all come together. Everybody knows what they bring to the table. I arrived in New York uh, Wednesday night. I was extremely nervous. I knew like how much pressure SNL was going to be. Everybody, you know, kind of had let me know. <laughs> oh, I'll put you back on the boat with your mom. Nice talking to you. Yeah, you're welcome. Ashley. Hello. I just have the CH here. I'm going to sign that to Kristen. C H R I S T I E. You sign that one to Bobby. B O B B Y. Do they ever find out like what songs I'm doing? Yeah. Auto and pieces. Auto and pieces. I got auto. Okay, good. I'm glad. I really wanted to do auto. Oh, you're good at it. Thank you very much. Sir. <laughs> no problem. Stephanie McGuire is my assistant. More than anything, she's like my best friend. But it can't be like this. <laughs> no, that's that's why I like that song. It's because she has such a good time. What would you do? If I'm ever about to make a decision that I shouldn't, she's always, you know, got my back and making sure that I'm focused. Mm, I love the smell of cold weather. It's the best. New York was insane for me. I had SNL rehearsals. And then on top of that, I was doing the cover of Allure, which was a very big deal for me. I'm so excited. It's my first Thai fashion magazine. Brad, the woman who was shooting Jessica said, oh, you wait till Ashley's album comes out, she's gonna surprise me. And we're like, okay, we'll talk. You know, and here you are, like a year and a half later. <laughs> I, know. Brad's I know, it's amazing. It is. Yeah, it's, it's really I know, I'm excited. It's been a crazy experience, and I'm so excited to do this shoot. Oh, cool. That'd be cute. Yeah, that's cute. I love that. And then maybe just with the gold bra. That's cool. Yeah, I love that. It's kind of a transformation right now in my life where I'm really into my womanhood and I get to do, you know, the cover of a magazine that, you know, appreciates that. Would you ever do a top? This is like a big cover. You have to be covered, though. We can't if, show if, anything. If I felt confident in it. Yeah. Then, you know? yeah. I think yeah. it could be like right. a black and white picture with the jean on. Right. Could be really good, just barefoot. Right. Sort of sexy, messy hair, right. no makeup. That'd be cool. Like what you just did with Angelina Jolie, kind of, right? Was she topless? Oh, that's right, I can't do it. You're yeah. right, I yeah. just did it. <laughs> the shoot is interesting because I've really been coming into my own as a woman. Yeah, they're going to look really cool. You like them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. They're beautiful. Cool, right? gonna, yeah, they're going to look amazing. I invited uh, the girls, Stephanie and Lauren, to New York. I really wanted my best friends there with me and just, you know, to have their support. I thought it would be really nice that week. You guys, I am truly fascinated by the concept of Saturday Night Live. Like, it's a show. It is so famous. It's like such a landmark in people's careers. No, I just, I think the whole concept is really cool. What a fun show to be on. Yeah. Like that is a dream job to be doing skits on Saturday Night Live. Totally. When I'm 40, that is what I want to be doing. That's entertainment. But the for thing you. about it is, is you know, you never know when like your time is like all yeah. Yeah. like whenever you know what I mean. With a I job, mean? like a normal job, you have it forever. You know, as yeah. long as you want it. I like those. I really want those. I don't know where I'd wear them, though. I don't either, but dude, they're so cute. Aren't they? I think they're cute. They're so cute. I'm going to get them. But are you going to wear them? Yeah. Right? Somewhere. I think they're great. The yellow is too much. Those are hot. I like the green better than the red, right? I kind of like the green, actually. It just depends if, like, 
green is the color like yeah, a month I think ago. The, the red are kind of cute though. The green is just it a great is. color. It wasn't a great color like two years ago, nobody wore it. Well, I'm sure red's been a great color at some point too. I kind of like the red, but. Me too. So, what color then? Green. Green's cute. getting ready right now for uh, rehearsals for Saturday Night Live. I feel like I'm ready, I'm really excited. I'll probably get really nervous whenever I'm there, but right now I'm just ready to do it. Jude Law's gonna be there today. I know. You're doing your promos with him. Oh. <laughs> On the way to rehearsal, I think I started getting butterflies in my stomach. SNL is such a big deal. And like every artist that's like really big has done it. You want to stand outside, honey? Get it all out. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> that one had girth. Sorry. <laughs> I warmed up, went out there, rehearsed my two songs, and I thought it went great. I felt really happy about it. I felt like my voice was on. I was like, yes, like that went really good. It's gonna be a good thing. I had a good night tonight. I'm excited about Saturday Night Live tomorrow. I'd like to make a toast on my water to Ashley being on Saturday Night Live. Gertrude, <laughs> have fun and cheers to SNL. I love ya. Brian, P.S. kicks and ass biatch. That's cute. So cute. Oh. Okay, well, I love you. Thanks for the flowers and the card is cute. I can't wait. All right, bye. My voice is really raspy today. Yeah, it's probably because you're tired. I wake up the day of a Saturday Night Live performance and my voice was extremely raspy. I didn't think it was going to be such a big deal. Who loves pancakes? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. 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 Whoa. How many there are? Oh my great. Gosh. Yo, I feel like we're at Willy Wonka. This butter. <laughs> <laughs> Never had butter that tasted good. Should I just pour the syrup on it? I want the fruit. I love crispy bacon. The oh, eggs, my god, they're so good. Yeah, see, in my restaurant, I would make it more scrambled. <laughs> of course, they bring us out chocolate instead of coffee. <laughs> All right. I hope my voice gets better. I know. Oh, sound very good. I'm full. Me too. Throughout the day, my voice started getting a little bit more raspy. Yeah, no, I, I can't sing that much today. I can, I'm gonna save myself for the show. Sound check's not till five. Mm -hmm. You have to sing the dress rehearsal and this, but you don't have to sing right now. We're gonna have to get Eric to do something for mm -hmm. our tour. Let's not worry about the tour right now, today. <laughs> it's the last thing I need to talk about, I think. I'm a little stressed. 
As the day progressed, I started losing my voice. Then we have a run through. I go out there, I sing the song. In the middle of pieces of meat, it got raspier and raspier. I basically like croak. Like I am grabbing my throat. It was hurting me so bad and I couldn't believe that this was happening on Saturday Night Live. I was really scared and I didn't know what to do. Stepped on a crowd. 